Hey Poodles, it's Adam Tabalea and we back for another round of Broadway Refocused. Hi Queens and welcome back. I am very excited to get into this particular unit, Rent, a new diversity on Broadway. This is personally one of the most influential shows I have ever experienced, both on stage and off. In fact, I did the show with the very creator of Broadway Refocused, Spencer Williams. <laughs> For a young queer person like myself, Rent built a bridge between pop culture and musical theater and was the first time that I really saw myself reflected in the characters on stage. We'll kick off the unit by taking a look at the history of queer musicals on Broadway, starting with the Rocky Horror Picture Show in 1975, as well as La Cajo Fall in 1984. We'll round things out by looking at Jagged Little Pill, which features Lauren Patton in the gender queer role of Joe. It was also nominated for 15 Tony Awards. Casual. Then we'll focus on the groundbreaking production of Rent. Creator and composer Jonathan Larson conceived the show in 1989, but it didn't get its first full stage production until 1996. That's seven years before it was fully realized, and we'll be taking a look at the development and timeline on its journey to Broadway. Larson's life and legacy will be explored as we learn his own story and passion for musical theater. Rent was one of the most diverse musicals on Broadway at the time, with over 60% of the cast being people of color. It broke ground in content, musical styles, characters, and casting. The diversity of New York City was finally being displayed on the Broadway stage. Although the story is told through the eyes of two white, straight, cisgendered men. So, you know, nothing's perfect. The show spoke to a younger generation about life, love, relationships, and staying present. The slogan, No Day But Today, resonated with youth and gave queer people a place to be heard and seen. And now, 25 years later, Rent continues the message of love is love and to never take those you love for granted. Themes surrounding HIV and AIDS gave voice to people who were living through the nightmare of this epidemic. Broadway created an elevated platform to create a national conversation about this disease. Over a decade after the discovery of HIV, Rent gave voice to the unheard. We will learn how the Broadway community founded Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. For the last 20 years, its mission has raised millions for the research, education, and support of those living with or affected by HIV. Even in 2020, during the COVID pandemic, BCEFA has given over $18 million in grants to those in need. In the last task, we put your revival through a few tests to explore inclusion and diversity. While your artwork is completed by our graphic designer, we're going to hone in on your final presentation. Task number five. You will create a final script for your big presentation. Focus on the exact language you will use to pitch your show to a Broadway professional at the end of the semester. This script will align all of the visions from the previous tasks and will prepare you to select your second show. <laughs> That's right. During unit five, you will be speaking with Joe Barros, artistic director of New York Theater Barn, a company that since 2007 has been producing and giving voice to original musicals that tell untold stories. He will be giving you a list of new, culture-shifting musicals by artists that we don't know but need to hear from, encompassing BIPOC, transgender, queer, disabled, and other underrepresented stories and writers. You will be choosing one new musical to add to your two-show Broadway season. Choose wisely. You want both your shows to feel cohesive together and to represent all people. Oh, don't forget. No day but today. 